Hey everybody, this is Mark Evans, DMDN. Thank you for being here. Hey, I want to shoot a quick video. I actually just talked to one of the action taking clients and uh, you know, just to be very crystal clear on kind of the properties and how to just do a basic quick research. As stated, as you know, we do not buy any properties that are listed. And when I say listed, I don't mean just listed with the MLS, but listed online for sale. See, oftentimes when you deal with real estate wholesalers, other wholesalers, what will happen is they're out there promoting the property all over online. So picture if you have 10 people promoting the same property and everyone has a different price and or the same price. It's very tough to make a profit on something like that. Actually, it's going to be non-existent because there's too many people promoting it. So a good lesson, a good, quick, simple thing to do, and again, this is exactly what we do, and we have this going on every single day, and it's actually in one of our contracts. If we're going to purchase a property from a person that's selling the property, it's mandatory in our contract that they have to pull down any marketing materials they have, such as big ones like Zillow, Truly, and such. So for this instance, I'm going to show you a property that this just happened. It's going on right now as we speak, 2412 Century Drive in Columbus, Ohio. So all I would do is in Google, right, you're on Google.com. Let me see here, Google.com, and this is going to pop up, your Google page. You're just going to put the address in Google and it's going to populate here. I don't even need to have um, the zip code necessarily, but it's going to prop up the address. And you can see 2412 Century Drive, Columbus, Ohio, 43211. Now, we do a lot of properties in this market. It could be in Memphis, Atlanta, St. Louis, Kansas City, Arkansas, etc. It could be anywhere in the world, actually. And if you know your market well, what will happen is we actually have this property under contract for $15,000. But we click on this and you can see... This is not the seller. This is actually another investor that tied this property up in contract four months ago and has yet to pull down the ad after he has not been able to close on the property himself. So 2412 Century Drive, Columbus, Ohio, 43221. This is the property we have under contract uh, for $15,000. And you can see it's being sold by owner for twenty two eight. Well, he's not the owner. He's the investor, which makes him the owner when he initially posted this. Not only that, this information right here is not the seller's information. Don't call this guy or gal. That's not what the training's for. But it's to show you that all you have to do is notice that you know internally we know it's not the owner because this is not the owner's phone number. So when we called this guy's number, he was an, a wholesaler. And really what he's doing, he's extracting leads from the online market to take them and do the bait and switch model. So he has this property. He's listing it at a good price. He gets other investors to call him. I mean, look up here. You can see how many views have looked at it. 757 people have looked at this ad. At least 10 people's called this other investor up. So what he does is he's building a buyer's list like this, which is a cool trick, but it's not recommended. <clears throat> Anyways, what we do is in our contract is, let's see here. Let me see here. Yep. In my contract, just making sure it's recording for you, in our contract we say this has to be pulled down within 24 hours. Why is that important? Well, so say if you get the property under 15000 and we get the information and we deploy it to our buyer, let's say for 25000 Again, I'm using this as basic numbers. The first thing our buyer does and any buyer, they go on Google, they type in the address just like we did, and they're going to see exactly what we're looking at right now. They're going to say, wait a minute, Mark. You're selling to me for 25 grand. It shows it's being sold for 22.8. I called this guy. He said it's still available. And you know what's going on? And then not only that, the guy's saying it's only 550 a month. It's actually 625 a month. So again, what he's doing, he's extracting investors on his funnel to put into his pipeline. Investor buyers, that is. So if your property, if you're marketing, again, we just had a client that's part of the group here. She had a lady that has a bunch of properties for sale, very decent prices actually, but for us to make a spread, it cannot be listed online anywhere for sale, and if it is, they have to pull it down, because if we go sending it to our buyer, we lose face, you lose face, we all lose face, and ultimately no one makes money, so we're doing this for everybody's best interest. If it's online, it should look like this, for example, let me show you here. Uh, Let's just pull up something basic. I'll show you what an average ad would look, you know, if it's not for sale, here's all it would look like. I'm guessing this isn't for sale. Right there, see? Not for sale, right? It's not for sale. So 
ideally that's what we want it to look like not for sale that gives us all an opportunity to go on there see what's going on and um, it allows us for all of us to make a lot more money by not having a property listed so when I say not listed I'm not talking just the MLS or anything of that nature I'm talking all the way around online Zillow etc we want it to say not for sale and if it is for sale we need them to take it down and we need to wait until it populates where it shows not for sale all right hope that helps keep up the great work we got a lot of leads and deals coming in this is awesome stuff guys thank you very much talk to you soon